Hello, I'm Josh George, college football once again. Georgia Tech, Pittsburgh in the ACC here. I think this could be an interesting game. I think it's Jeff Collins against Mr. Pickett's. Look, I like uh, I like Pitt to win twenty to twelve here. I think it's a close one and an interesting game. Um, the Virginia Virginia Tech rivalry. Virginia Tech leads this rivalry fifty eight to thirty eight. They're coming off a fifteen game win streak in this rivalry. Of course, Virginia broke that last year, but I'm feeling the Hokies are going to take it back. I got the Hokies twenty one to thirty. In a win. OU West Virginia. Big game. OU's already clinched the Big 12 title of the Big 12 championship berth. I don't see them really being totally ready. I think it's a close game. Uh, West Virginia's got one of the best defenses in the conference. OU's got one of the best offenses in the conference. But I'll take the Sooners. I feel like they find a way. 30-21. to 21. USC UCLA here in a game that may not get played due to the city's shutdown, but I'm gonna take the Fighting Chip Kellys. I think um, he finds a way to win. I think Clay Helton comes into next season on the hot seat after losing in the LA rivalry. Tulsa Cincinnati Cincinnati's 59th in the 247 talent composite, and Tulsa's not even close to that. Tulsa doesn't have the talent, but Cincinnati doesn't have the talent of some of these top-tier teams. I think that kind of shows they've had some really good games. I think they kind of struggle in this one and win a close one, 24-21. Now, Miami and North Carolina in North Carolina. I think this is a quarterback duel between Hal and King. It's going to be a close game, ultimately, but I think Hal at home with Mac Brown... Uh, I think they find a way to win 30-23. LSU, Florida. This will be tra Trask is going to try to compete against um, Alabama and the team that played LSU last week in this one. LSU and Coach O's team seems to fold. Coach O's probably coaching for his job, so you might see some wrinkles and things, but I think Florida beats them 38-19. Iowa and Wisconsin. Um, this is maybe Fence's last game. I think he might retire as head coach from Iowa. And Wisconsin hasn't showed any offense since their first game. I think the Hawkeyes score 30 on him, and that'll be enough. I got Iowa 30, Wisconsin 17. The Army-Navy game. I think it's a defensive battle this year. Both defenses have been really, really solid this year. Navy's out-recruited Army the last couple seasons. Since they've joined the American Conference. In an American game, I'll take the American Conference team 12 to 9. Ah, uh, this game. My prediction is it gets canceled. But if they do play, um, and Michigan doesn't cancel because of COVID or scaredy catism, um, I got Ohio State 49 to nothing. Law Tech and TCU. Skip Holtz is the head coach at Law Tech. Gary Patterson for TCU. I think he's. Running out of games to coach. He's just getting old. Becoming a guitar picker, as they would say. Just, he's not as good as he used to be. A lot of defensive talent on this. TCU defense, NFL guys. But when you get a 28-point spread, I think La Tech shows up and makes this game a struggle. And one that you might want to tune into is an interesting game. Oregon and Washington. I haven't had a Pac-12 game as the game of the week. Thought I'd give it to them. Game could be important. Oregon's lost the last two. Washington's been struggling. The whole back 12 really has kind of seems to have been struggling. Um, but I went with the home team. I, get, I went with Washington. I'm Josh George. This is college football.